That looks good. Yes! All right, crows. Let's see, let's get a better light here. Oh, the ears. Oh, the ears. That's good. I'm gonna clean this chain today with the, some cleanup. Chain cleaner. And then I'm gonna put some chain wax. Let me, let me uh, reread the directions here. What's up? What's up? Um, let's see here. I think I have to add water. Chain should be cold before application. Spray clean up entire chain area to be. Let's stand for 60 seconds. Use a soft brush to break up and dislodge excess grease and oil build up. Rinse thoroughly with a steady stream of cold water. Yeah, about that steady stream of water. Um, I've got about how much from my road trip? Uh, that's our steady stream. <laughs> And when in doubt, I'll use my, uh, my, my drinkable water right here. Um, and then, yeah, so that should be fun. What's up? What's up? Good morning. Good morning to all of you guys. I'm going to do a quick little, um, the hair is up, so we mean, we, we mean business right now. Um, we're going to do some chain maintenance because... I went on a road trip uh, to Arizona not too long ago, and I haven't cleaned it since then. And I've been to LA and back, and just lots of riding around, and I haven't, I haven't maintained my chain. So we are gonna do that right now. There we go. That should theoretically stay. <laughs> You're propped up on a ice chest and a pack of uh, ratchet tie downs. My cardboard, it's like it's filled with dirt. There we go. It's filled with dirt. Um, so, stay with Yeah. 
to let it sit for 60 seconds, it said. Right, before you use a wire brush. Yeah. So we're just going to let that sit there for, for a minute while the dog barks. Wow, every crow in America is here for my live stream. So just a closer uh, look here. We got the chain cleaner on there, it's dissolving. And I'm just spinning it while it's on the stand here. Letting it work for 60 seconds, letting it get in there before I take a wire brush to it. There's my master link that I started at. And okay, I'm gonna start wire brushing. You know what, let me see if I can move you closer. I guess you don't need to see the whole bike. <laughs> Got a nice little stocked in wire brush here. Oh, there's a bee. Oh, a little honey bee. Didn't make it. Ooh. Oh my god. This chain is dirty. Come on, you were gold once before, man. We're going to make you gold and sparkly. Gold and sparkly. Watch your fingers here. Some people run the bike while they're cleaning it. Uh, that's a good way to lose a finger, which I've known someone that totally did that. And he's missing his pinky. Making some progress here. So this is good to do. You're supposed to do this like a lot more often than I'm doing it. Um, I'm about influence. And um, the more you maintain your chain, the more your sprockets will stay uh, good.
and your chain will last a lot longer. Get the arm worked out. All right, I'm going to add some water to this right now. My steady stream. So if you have um, a hose, it would be much better to use <laughs> than what I'm doing. I should go fill this up, actually. Hold on, I'll be right back. You guys just talk amongst yourselves. Okay. All right, so here's a 
So what we got cooking with. So after you add water, it kind of shows you all the chemicals and grease running off. But I'm going to add some more water to it. We still got, I mean, it's impossible, not impossible, but for my uh, laziness level, we're not going to get all of that off. <laughs> but it's at least going to, it's going to help us out when we go back into the canyons. Because I am done with the straight line freeway. Yes. These tires were not meant for that. side is like meant for um, like getting down in the middle. Which is important because that's where the sprockets go, right? Back to that master link. chain you can do it you know well it's just on the kickstand or rolling it backwards and it's obviously easier with two people if someone can spray it while you're rolling it but if you can actually take the time to do it this way Um, after this, we're going to run a science project about how absorbent cardboard is. Cool. <sighs> now that's what we call a clean chain. So I'm just going to let that sit in there for a little bit. Let it dry. Let it dry a little bit. So it's uh it's better than what it was. <laughs> what I'd like to do is actually take a cloth to it and wipe the rest. Um so I'm gonna leave you with bike again. Oh no, oh no. So our science project about how absorbent cardboard is, is uh, <laughs> pretty low. It's pretty low. 
So between planes, dogs, crows, and a skateboard, <laughs> you know. Hey, Josh Stone. What's 86 little hello from Belgium. Hi. Hello from California. Um, we're just cleaning the chain here. So far we've got to, this is what we used to clean it. I'm sorry about all the background noise. It's a beautiful day and people are flying their airplanes. So I'm going to leave you here with Bike, with Sue. I'm going to go get a rag real quick so that I can just sort of get the remaining water and give it a little wipe down. So be right back. Yeah, I'm going to have to clean up a different carpet for <laughs> How rude. How rude of me. <sighs> okay, all right. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to wipe it up with a little rag. What's up, RV? Hey. Yeah. Um, look, she's being spoiled right now because when I took her to... Arizona. I hadn't washed her yet, um, or like did did any main maintenance on the chain. So luckily, I didn't go through any monsoons or anything like that. Um, but yeah, we mean we mean business right now. So hopefully that dog stops yapping. Yap yap yapping. Well, let me get the lube. So how are you? RV in the house. That filthy. It's like it was so dirty. You should rewind the tape to see how dirty it was. Oh my god. I feel bad. I'm so sorry, Sue. Yeah, it's coming right off. I didn't. I don't have any more oil rags. I'm gonna have to buy some. Where are my gloves at? I'm trying to keep my hands nice. You know, I want to get them all black. Usually, I forget my gloves, and I'm like, ah, f it. <laughs> so I already did the chain cleaner and then I rinsed it off with some water. Did some more chain cleaner, rinsed it off with some more water. The chain cleaner is a degreaser. Specially formulated for the power sports industry. Yeah. We'll be 
it's no film. I sure didn't. Yeah, some, some of, oh my God. Like my soul. Dark like my soul. Yeah, some chain loops spray on white. I don't really like, I don't really like that look. White. So I want to see the color of my chain. That's so pretty. Oh God, I've left such a mess. I tried the cardboard so that I wouldn't leave a mess, and uh, well, <laughs> so let me give you an update. So now we're cooking with Crisco. You find it a pain in the butt to reverse your motorcycle. You know what? My other Gixxer 600, it was really hard to reverse. And not all bikes are the same, but whereas my other, my friend's bike at the time, it was a 2008 and I could easily reverse his. And I don't, I thought it might have something to do with the calipers being too close to the brake discs or something. And like, maybe they were grabbing as I was going in reverse. And I was like, wait a minute, if, if that's happening, then theoretically, if I'm just going, then I'm like in a constant brake status. So I don't know what that was. I don't have that bike anymore, but um, but yeah, some bikes are harder to move backwards, and just not all bikes are the same. Just kind of looking at my sprocket at the teeth at the moment. It still look pretty good. But there's a, there's kind of like some buildup grease on my sprocket. Let me show you. So there is where I wiped. And then it just starts clunking right there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put some more degreaser on there to kind of clean that off. It's a good thing I brought more water. So see, I'm I'm getting way down into the details of this thing. Watch your little fingers. I'm just gonna use this. It's coming off. Excellent. I'm guessing it's on the other side too, but. Your fingers. Don't go 
to fast. Tell the difference from there. What? The sprocket silver and not black? Go figure. I had no idea. This is still the OEM sprocket. Oh my gosh! It was that dirty? Are you kidding me? I feel like I'm flossing. Just like flossing my teeth. It's already looking better. Fine cooking, because you know what? I got Swanson's dinner in the freezer. But y'all make my own time. Check it out. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not a great cook. <laughs> I got some Trader Joe's TV dinners in the freezer, actually. Uh, put their name on it. So. My rims used to be black too, but <laughs> okay. Now for the chain luba. Chain wax. Draw thing last time. It sounded like a Hellcat. All right. Let's get a good shot of that. So apply the inside of chain. Oh, I would have I would have done it on the uh, the outside of the chain. Good thing it told me. <laughs> Put, place. Uh, motorcycle on appropriate stand, allowing rear wheel to move freely. Recommended chain clean with max. Okay, that's what we used. Rotate wheel and spray. Chain wax liberally onto chain, avoiding oversatur oversaturation. Important, allow spray to set up for 10 to 15 minutes before riding. For best results, allow additional time for setup. Well, alrighty. I don't plan on doing any riding, so that's fine. I'm just worried about it being too wet. That's what she said. So again, I'm going to start at the master link. level it like that or else or else it will go down the whole okay so there it comes with a straw 
guess I can use it. Guess. Straw is inserted. One rotation. Dos. Well, it says liberally. How come you wouldn't put it on the on the outside anyway? I mean, I guess that makes sense because the O-rings are on the inside. But I don't know. When you see a chain lubed up, it's all like on the outside. Maybe that's that type of lube. But I said liberally, so I'm gonna do it again because it's fun. I feel very accomplished right now. <laughs> All right, RV. Trust me, that wax will spill out on the outside later as you ride. Oh, okay. All right. I'll clean it up. I, I was cleaning. No, I don't. I didn't see. I'm sorry. I didn't see. Oh. Oh, okay. That was fine. Yeah. I'm just cleaning. I didn't see you. Oh, really? I left a mess. Oh, my God. It was so dirty. Oh, your car? It's been really windy, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, the marine layer from the beach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it's not windy anymore. The wind really blows in here and gets on your car. Oh, I know. Yeah. The sand, all the, the trash will be here. Exactly. <laughs> I know. Especially that trash. Yeah. You don't work. I mean, you take a break from working? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm self-employed at the moment. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's it's good. good. I'm letting my money work for me. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Doing pretty good. That's good. Yeah. And I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I'm... Getting really good at it. Yeah. That's good. I mean, you said I know you always have to do it. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you got to stay productive. All right, you have a good day.
self-employed now. Oops. Excuse that noise. So that's so that's some news, huh? My neighbor just like out at me like that. <laughs> Gotta love neighbors. Um yeah, so I'm uh self-employed now and it feels really good got my money working for me i'm doing really well um yeah it feels great it feels great um especially when i was my hands got dirty anyway get those nails it's like a winner right there um yeah letting my money work for me feels really great and uh I'm getting the time to do what I want to do and not have to worry about rent. And it feels really great. I'm doing well in the stock market. So I'm really proud of myself there. Uh, taking the time to do my due diligence and my research. And it's allowing me to, you know, go on these spur of the moment rides. And yeah, just, just feels really great. I feel like good. I'm happy. It feels really great to be happy, not be a slave to the nine to five. And um, yeah, it feels really good. Just tell her that it's just sweat from all that horsepower. <laughs> yeah, um, I did. I made quite. I made quite the mess. Uh, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, but how are you guys? How? Ahmed, I know I, I see your comments often on all, all of my little short videos. Do you guys like those short videos? It's just kind of like a simple, like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. darling, that's called freedom. Feels good, don't it? Yes. Yes, it does. Yeah. Um, RB, I actually, I talked to uh, to Kate, um, you know, Street Fighter ATL, um, about AMC. So AMC is something that we're both invested in right now. And so we're doing really well. AMC stock is doing really well. Um, AMC entertainment, like the movie theaters. So we're both a couple of apes. So it's fun to talk to her about it. Yeah. Kate is doing awesome, RB. She's, uh, yeah, she's good. She's still teaching um, through Zoom and stuff. And, uh, and we're, she's got like, She's got more AMC shares than I do, but that's why I kept posting about it on here because like I paid for my bike registration with some profit that I made off of AMC and um, and, and she's doing really well. And so we kind of like text each other back and forth like, oh, how are you doing uh, with that? You know, and like I, yeah, when I went on my road trip, I was going to try and see her, but uh, it, it just like the way it worked out, I ended up going north and she was more south. So um that was a two week long road trip. So we'll be diving into crypto later after the move. Oh, you know, just to let you know, crypto is, I don't know if you're going to go into Bitcoin or, you know, the, the old coins like Doge or their safe moon. What other one is popular? Uh, Cardano. Cardano is really good. That's ADA crypto. So those are my favorites, Bitcoin, Cardano, Ethereum. Ethereum is, is really solid. But just to let you know, like the dip just kind of happened with Bitcoin where it was sort of around 31K to 37K. It kept getting slapped down at 40K, but because Bitcoin just did its fourth upgrade, 
um, it spiked in the last 24 hours to like 41k, right? So it did it did kind of this like falling thing from 68k all the way down to the low 30s, and so it's been an incredible dip buy right now. So you know, just kind of watch it, right? Because it's the 24 hour thing. So um, and then every altcoin listens to the granddaddy Bitcoin. So whatever Bitcoin is doing, if Bitcoin like comes down, all the other altcoins kind of follow in suit. So um, I've only got a couple hundred dollars invested right now in cryptocurrency, but it's fun to trade, especially when the stock market's closed or as I call the casino. <laughs> um, but yeah, Kate and I are both invested in AMC at the moment. I have like one share of, of GameStop at the moment, but you want to be my financial advisor. <laughs> Let's look out for one another. Um, you know, funny story is I almost became a financial advisor and I almost worked for Transamerica uh, for a second. But it was weird. It was like, it gave me weird vibes because you have like a, a broker, like a manager above you and, and it's sort of like a pyramid. And so like whatever sales that you would make, like part of it would go to him. And I was like, eh, I'm out. Like I'd already done the real estate thing and I'd already like been a notary and to just add financial advisor to it. I was just like, no, I swear you like a cis, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I'm not a financial advisor and that is not financial advice. Just to let you know, just in case the SEC comes on here, I am not a financial advisor. We were just talking. Okay. Hey man, we were just talking, <laughs> talking about bikes and stocks. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's how I've been able to be um, financially good at the moment. So um, I haven't taken a lot of profits off of AMC because right now we're, um, I don't know if you know this RV, but AMC is like in the middle of a social movement right now because it's the hedge funds have been shorting this stock for a very long time. And so that's why I've been kind of posting about AMC like on my community board. Uh, because it's it's doing really well, and the hedge funds have shorted the stock for a very long time. And if you look at the graph, if you look at like the if you zoom out and you um, so the the e platforms that I use is Fidelity and Weeble. I trust those. I don't trust Robinhood. Uh, Robinhood is not good. Um, and if you get into cryptocurrency, don't get that on Robinhood because you don't own the actual coin, you own the promise of a coin. So I would rather own the actual coin. It's it's sort of like, if I had a gold bar, um, Robinhood will sell me the promise of a gold bar, but they won't actually give me the gold bar if I wanted to keep the gold bar and go put it in a safe deposit bank. They'll just pay me out cash and I don't want that. I want to hold the value of a coin. So I, for cryptocurrency, I use, um, Binance.us, because there's a Binance for Europe, and then Binance.us is the one for the United States. Um, it, it's taken, I'm, I'm hearing a, a couple of different things as far as verifying your identity with Binance.us. Like for me, it only took an hour, I think, and then other people have been waiting, I've heard weeks, but maybe they like uploaded their driver's license incorrectly or it wasn't a good picture. So just like, I don't know what you're, what you're using, but Robinhood seemed to have dropped the ball with the game stuff. Yeah. So what Robinhood did back in February was they, they, they stopped the buying. Like they just got rid of the buy button on GameStop. So all you could do was sell. And their reason was to reduce our risk. So they were saying like, nah, you don't know what to do with your money. Um, let's just take away that ability for you because this is a high risk stock. And then it just like stopped this squeeze from happening. And then it just went back down. Um, but you have like the catalyst, um, roaring kitty, which whenever he tweets, the stock just goes. Bloop. So, um, so I follow him on Twitter, roaring kitty. Um, this is all like a Reddit movement, right? All the Redditors on Wall Street Bets and um, and just like the AMC stock Reddit are, are really good uh, Reddit forums to follow. But yeah, um, so right now AMC is is kind of my main portfolio at the 
the moment. I sold out out of all my blue stocks. I got out of Tesla. I got out of. I sold out out of all of my crypto and just threw it in to AMC. And I don't recommend that. Um, that's just what I did because I think that AMC is. It's just going to be squeezed. And, and uh, I follow Matt Kors, so if you want something to, to like watch for a little while before you get comfortable. Um, and I'm not telling anybody to do anything, but um, Matt Kors, you spell his last name K-O-H-R-S. Uh, <laughs> a risk taker you are, I see. <laughs> hey, with, with high risk comes high reward. Just how about that? Um, and then Trey Trades, T-R-E-Y, Trades. Um, he's cool. Uh, Trey is, uh, they're both on Fox News Business lately on the Charles Payne segment, uh, which was, it's really cool. Like we're starting to make amazing momentum and having these hedge funds called out and they're calling us dumb money. They're call, you know, like, well, how come a, a person can go on TV and say like, hey, this stock is really good. I think you should buy it. I think it's a great buy. And nobody blinks an eye. But the moment that the 99% decide to try and make some money, all of a sudden we're called dumb money. And so we're, we're like, okay, well, we're dumb money. And guess what? We're moving the stock up. So every time the stock goes down into the red, we hold it, we buy more <laughs> and it goes up. And guess what? We still don't sell when it rises up. And then, you know, it's just, it's a human psyche game with these stocks and they call it meme stocks, but they're, it's fun. And I, I, I spend hours and hours reading this. And I don't know if you know this RB, but I'm also a host on Bulldog Trading YouTube channel. I'll be on later today uh, at 9 p.m. So from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that they're a 24 seven streaming channel. So they do the stock market during the day and then crypto at night. We call it crypto after dark <laughs> and then on the weekends as well. So it's a good family community in there. You guys are being mean to the Wall Street thugs. Good for you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's, why, why can't we? Why can't we, is what I'm saying. You know, sorry, I went on like a tangent right now, man. I, get, I got really excited, really passionate about it. Woo! I just want everybody to make money. I want everybody to make money. And if and if and if you can make money and off of these people, or it's just the naked shorting that really ticks me off. And I don't know if you know what naked shorting is, but really, but. Basically, they're creating synthetic shares that don't even exist. They're like, like say there's 2 million AMC shares. They're shorting, you know, millions that don't even exist. So the short interest and cost to borrow rate is just, we check it every day uh, on Matt Core's channel. So it's, um, and it's all live from Ortex. So uh, it's, it's gonna squeeze. We all we all think it's gonna do something called squeeze. It's uh, there's a gamma squeeze and then a short squeeze. And we've had a couple of gamma. If you look at the AMC chart, it it gamma squeezed up uh, in one day from like thirty dollars to seventy five dollars in one day. And we've just been consolidating for a little over a week now, uh, which is good. We've been consolidating around forty dollars. And I've been in on this AMC thing since March fourth when it was only $8 a share. And so we've been working on this for a long time. You, you just don't give up, you buy and hold, as they say, uh, which is just hold spelled incorrectly. <laughs> so we buy and, and hold our, our AMC shares and we call each other apes. So we're the ape army. Um, and we say things like going to the moon, ape army go to the moon, apes to the moon. <laughs> it's so fun, it's so fun to be a part of that. Uh, a part of this movement, movement, and we're all just like various age ranges, which is really cool too. You got people, you got kids investing in it. You've got uh, teenagers, twenty-year-olds, thirty-year-olds, and you know, it's like you don't need you don't need a, a, a license to to 
learn how to buy stocks and learn how to do this thing. There's people out there that have been have been making life changing money, and I'm all about that. Like I don't have money to throw at this right now, but I do what I can. And before I got laid off from work, which was March 31st of this year, I uh, I was like, you know what? While I was at work, I was like, you know what? I can, I wish that I could just stay at home and trade all day because it's so fun. Um, and my mom doesn't quite understand it. So she's like, Tana, when are you going to get a real job? And I'm like, mommy, you used to tell me that when I wanted to become an actor and look at how many great things that I was in. And you know, I was in movies and I'm in SAG after like, I was making money. Like, you know, I know you want better for your daughter than to just go to a nine to five and, and be a slave to the man. And, you know, now I'm like making not life changing money for me, but I love hearing when people are making like six digit uh, life changing money right now. Chris. <laughs> What's up, Chris? Yeah, you have a family. I'll email you a pic of Chris' office. Probably. Okay, cool, RV. <laughs> no, Chris, you can't borrow any money. <laughs> If I if I had if, if I had some monies, I would totally give it to you though. I totally would. All right, let me go check on my chain. <laughs> you guys have more money than I do. I just started. <sighs> oh, she looks good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Vacuum hose routing diagram. Why is that sticker on there? Do I want to take that off? Vacuum hose. Fuel vapor sim. Huh. Why, why do you need to put that on my swing arm, though? Like, why isn't it somewhere else? That reminds me, I need to get a K and an air filter. Well, I know what I'm gonna do with some of my AMC profits. <laughs> Cause I also have a gift card. <sighs> oh, California emissions, that makes sense. Well, it doesn't matter now cause I don't have a catalytic converter anymore. <laughs> don't make me get the hose. Don't make me get the vacuum hose running <laughs> All right, so let's look at my mess. Oh, good job, Tana. <laughs> I don't think the box worked. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she sweated out. <laughs> it's pretty hot today. As a Mexican, I am quick to try and steal RV. <laughs> ha! Wow. Jim rolls with a towel. <laughs> All right. I think I should keep that just in case. And then I have this thing too, but I don't, I've never used it. What is this? Multi-purpose penetrant lube. Inhibits rust, displaces moisture. Excellent fogging oil. Freeze corroded parts. Uh... Oh, it's for rusted or frozen parts where corrosion is heavy. Nuts and bolts, mechanic tools, metal frames, exhaust, machine screws, locks. Huh.
I also have to change my oil soon. Hmm. Anyway.
is clean and loose. chatting over here agent Ahmad, what's up what's up buddy hold on let me what's up what's up buddy <laughs> miguel what's up miguel let the alarm screen with envy <laughs> oh yeah that muffler up right gives us yeah i I love it. It also has a Barnett full clutch perform uh, a full permit full uh, full performance clutch kit uh, by Barnett, who is a local dealer over here. Meth a bike is okay. Christian, I'm gonna punch you in the arm. There's a while other sides to the shorts that people aren't talking about that was lost from shorts originally have been gained back from shorting and causing these big gaps in the way up. on the way up. This is going to have a compounding and frustrating effect. We could use a big cash income because you can't keep printing money without consequence. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Uh, nothing I was, um, Miguel, uh, Agent Ockner. It's nice to see you. Uh, I was just uh, cleaning my bike, my bike chain. Um, and, uh, I guess, thank you for that. Soup, 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 uh, I don't think I've actually ever said that on my channel before, so uh, <laughs> that was fun. Um, yeah, so check it out. Just did some maintenance uh, on my bike here. This is Sue with an E. <laughs> uh, we just got done cleaning. My nephew rides a Suzuki Jixxer, same color as your motorcycle. Oh, well, it's the best color. I'm eating a hamburger, so I figured I'd pop on and see what you're up to. Yeah, what kind? Oh my God, you're eating a hamburger? What kind of hamburger? Is it, um, is it, is it hamburguesa con queso? Because I love hamburguesa con queso. Did you guys, did you hear it on? Did you hear it turned on though? Because Fresh cheese with jalapenos. Oh my god. Oh my god. You put the little teal day on the end and everything. There she is. How many miles are on it? Don't listen to Christian, whatever he says. Uh. How is Sassy doing? Sassy is being a little poop right now, actually. She keeps talking when I tell her not to talk. Um, so we've got 13,000 miles on here now. This is mostly highway miles from my trip to Phoenix, Arizona, from the West Coast which I didn't realize that I had that many miles on here now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's 
I guess I need gas soon. Huh? Um, I like to reset my trip meter every single time I fill up. So 140 miles on a full tank of gas, that is not sh too shabby. Um, and then I use my second trip meter. I reset that every single time I change the oil. So it was 23. I'm probably going to change it soon. And then I've gone five miles on my reservoir tank. Once this light stops blinking and it goes to solid, that means get to a gas station. Ahora. <laughs> and it's currently uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. The temperature is 118 because I just turned it on. You can see me. Excellent. Um, yeah. So there's that. Uh, I currently, my next thing to do on it is to change the air filter to a reusable air filter. So uh, I came in. And, oh my god, a butterfly! It was a mother butterfly and I got super distracted. Okay, town of ADD. Yes. I'm gonna come take it for a spin someday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, you will not. Yeah, I heard her. The rest of the cars parked there were to hear her again. They were sounding. With <laughs> yeah, the car behind me got a little sensitive. She got a little sensitive. Look at that chain, though. That's a clean chain. I still got, still got some good tread on here. These are the, uh, these are Pirellis. They're the Rosso threes, the Diablos. But I don't like seeing this right here. It needs to like, like be right at least right there. So I need to get to a canyon soon. Actually, I should check my air pressure while I'm at it. I guess. I guess. Tina. Air gauge in my trunk. I like I like this this kind because uh, I have well I have the ninety degree uh, metal valve stems, but easier. I like it. I like it a lot. So thirty six in the front, forty two in the back.
bah. Oh. What's up? What's up? What's up? What do you get? Agent Ocknarf, I want to know how your burrito is. I mean, your hamburger. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been streaming for about an hour. And I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me and like watch uh, that whole process. Um, I gotta go check on my stocks. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, you can email me at tanamoody at gmail.com. Um, and, and yeah, I hope that you have an amazing day and that you enjoy the sunshine. Go high five a leaf, okay? Get, get one with nature. Hey, go high five a leaf. Get some sunshine, get some vitamin D. Get some vitamin D on that, on that, on that uh, skin, all right? Not too much. All right, you guys, take care.